Hey guys, what's up? This is Koga Ninja, and I'm back with another video. Um, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the evolution throw. Okay, um, I've had quite a few people reach out to me uh, through email asking about the evolution throw, um, what it is. Um, how does it you know what's it how is it different from you know the three finger overhand grip and throw that kind of thing so I've made previous videos on it but for some reason it just doesn't seem to be the videos don't seem to be catching on I guess people are not really tr understanding uh, exactly what's happening with the evolution throw um, so in this video what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to try to re-explain it so you will have a better understanding of what it is all right and and for those of you who after going through this video are really excited um, keep listening because during the video somewhere in the video I'm gonna drop a little something so that you guys will be able to if you act quickly you'll be able to get uh, a discount on it and I'm only gonna run the discount for 72 hours so once this video goes up uh, 72 hours later it cuts off so this is not a sale I'm not trying to say this is a sale because it isn't um, uh, it's it's an opportunity for you guys that are excited about the that are excited about the evolution throw to be able to get it at at a, a uh, discount uh, but this is not going to let you know go for 30 days this is not a sell okay this is just an opportunity for you guys uh, to, to, to get it at a lower cost and you will only have uh, 72 hours to do it all right so uh, keep listening so let's try let's let's get into it all right so um, so if you come to my website sorry about that I had a little uh, 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 interruption there but I'm back okay so first things first um, let's head over here to my website if you go to koganinja dicecontrol.com all right and go ahead and click on the fast link right here and it'll take you to the evolution throw all right so and then you can read all about it you can read all the text and everything um, what you're getting everything all of that information but like I said what I'm gonna try to do is I'm going to try to explain it in a way that makes it a little bit more easier to understand um, and hopefully hopefully um, it'll click with you and um, it'll be something that you will eventually uh, purchase later um, and and you know totally kick ass with it because you will I guarantee you will um, or you're just you know you're gonna finish watching this video and you're gonna reach out to me and say hey man I want to purchase this uh, what do I got to do all right so let's get into it right now okay first things first I want you to forget about everything that you know about dice control just let's just do that do that for for uh, for right now so let's just suspend everything that you know about traditional three finger overhand grip and toss dice control all right let's just forget about that for right now all right and let me try to explain to you what the evolution throw is all right so the evolution throw in and of itself is one standalone methodology for dice control all right so 
when I say that when you purchase this course you are gonna get a standalone method of throwing the dice this has nothing to do with any other form of dice control that you may be aware of so just forget about the three finger overhand grip and toss dice control method just just remove that from your mind for right now once you can make that distinction you're going to be well on your way so the evolution throw has nothing to do with all of the three finger overhand grip and toss style of throws that you're seeing on YouTube it has nothing to do with that this is a completely different way of throwing all right so you you will be throwing controlled it is it is a dice control method all right but it is not like the three finger overhand grip and toss it is completely different now this method this methodology it's a to z in other words let's say you were a completely brand new person you knew nothing about dice control all right you knew nothing all you knew was that if you do certain things a certain way every single time the exact same way you would be able to to increase your odds of winning at the casino on the craps table that's all you know all right so if you came to me and said hey Kogan Ninja can you show me how to do this dice control stuff and I, I, I would say okay uh, there's two methods there is the three finger overhand grip and toss which takes about a year to learn and to master or I could teach you the evolution throw which again is a standalone method and you could literally master it in three days if you got the knack for it you could literally master it in three days what do you want to learn and then you would be like whoa really uh, no I want something where I can go this weekend you know it's it's a Monday right now I'm gonna in 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 uh, uh, this weekend I'm gonna be in Vegas you know show me something what can I do then I'd say okay well let me show you the evolution throw and then I would proceed to teach you the evolution throw and then you would go off to Vegas and you would have a, a extremely higher chance of winning at the casino versus going and just randomly throwing the dice all right so hope that I hope that right there is kind of uh, helping you along as far as trying to understand what the evolution throw is. All right. So the evolution throw in and of itself is what is known in the dice control community as a off axis method of throwing dice control in other words it's an off-axis method of doing dice control all right so let's do a quick little comparison the three finger overhand grip and toss which is what you see on the internet and all over YouTube everybody's doing it all these new people have popped up out of the woodwork over the last you know five years and everybody's you know doing the three finger overhand grip and toss what that is is what is known as the par throw and it came out of uh, Jerry Patterson and uh, Chris Paul Lickie's, uh gambling school okay and they called it the par throw um, and it's a way of throwing the dice controlled using a three-finger overhand grip 
and then you toss them at a 45 degree angle you know eight feet away to the back wall and it up your it ups your odds in the casino that's what everybody is familiar with all right and that is one met method of throwing the dice and that is all that is known as an on axis throw and the reason it's called an on axis throw is because the dice are put in parallel to each other and they are thrown on an imaginary axis all right if that makes any sense so moving on the evolution throw is a way of throwing the dice where you are not using that on axis imaginary line you're not doing that you're taking the dice and you're putting them off axis all right so when you throw off axis it is a completely different way of throwing the dice if you versus the par throw or the three finger overhand grip and toss it's a completely different methodology all right so with the evolution throw you if you were a complete beginner to the art of dice control and you knew nothing about it you could actually learn this method and know nothing whatsoever of the par throw I mean you could be a complete absolute beginner and learn this methodology and still not know anything about the three finger overhand grip and toss also known as the par throw it is the evolution throw is a complete standalone method all right you do not need so what I'm trying to say is you do not need any other form of dice control you don't need the par throw you don't need to know certain rituals you know you don't need to stand at a certain part of the table uh, you do not need to stand a certain way uh, all that stuff goes completely out the window with the evolution throw the evolution throw is extremely extremely unique in its its uh, form and method it is it is awesome it is so awesome and you do not need to have any any knowledge of dice control I mean you could literally be a complete beginner know nothing about the game of craps know nothing about the words dice control none of that stuff and I could meet you in a casino and tell you, hey I want you to do this for me and I could literally teach you in five minutes how to do it and show you I'd say I wouldn't even use any kind of complicated words of any kind I would just be like okay hold the dice like this make sure that the the, the numbers are, are are looking like this and hold them like this and throw them and you would be able to do the evolution throw literally that simple I'm not kidding um, and like I said you would not have any other knowledge of whatsoever of the par throw all the stuff that you see on YouTube you you wouldn't need you wouldn't need any of that because this method is completely different and it is completely unique so before I move on a little bit more let me just explain to you a, a couple of things in the evolution throw when you learn the evolution throw all right in this super detailed a to z master level course you are going to get you're going to get uh eight you're going to get 19 different ways of gripping the dice that is correct that's right you're gonna get 19 different grips now now that's that's unheard of guys like that is completely unheard of so 
versus the three finger overhand grip and toss it's that's one grip you get one grip and one grip only if you are going to do a traditional par throw you have to use the three finger overhand grip all right and that's it that's all you get you only get one now if you change that and you say well I'm gonna hold my fingers on the side and do a hook kind of like a little hooking grip you are getting away from you are not doing a par throw as soon as you do that if your fingers are not three finger overhand gripping the dice if if your fingers are any other way than that you are not doing a traditional par throw that is seen online and on YouTube you are not doing that all right that that's fact you know some people like to use you know uh, the index finger and then the thumb and then some people like to use the index finger the middle finger and the thumb and then of course then you have your three finger overhand grip and top overhand grip okay for a for a true for a true if for a true par throw you need to be using three fingers and it only comes down to one so it only comes down to one grip and one grip only all right so getting back to the evolution throw with the evolution throw you're gonna get 19 different ways of gripping the dice all right so um, so how does that correlate with the throw okay the grip and the throw are two different things when in the evolution throw the grip the grips and the throw are two different things the grips are one thing the throw is the uh, the throw is another all right so with the evolution throw you'll figure out one or two or three grips that you particularly like that are very comfortable for you and then you would throw the dice one specific way every single time that's what's so cool about the evolution throw it's one it's one it's one very specific way of throwing the dice but you have 19 different grips to achieve the throw okay I hope that I hope that you get that concept all right uh, without spilling the beans of how the throw actually looked which I can of course I can't do um, uh, but I can say that you will get 19 different ways of gripping the dice and then you'll be able to use the one throw which is all you'll need you don't need anything else and you will uh, achieve the evolution throw it's amazing the evolution throw is completely completely amazing I have taught people how to do this throw literally in three minutes. I've taught delivery people that have showed up my at my door. I've I've taught uh, friends of mine that have come over, and they go, "Oh my God, you got a craps table!" I'm like, "Yeah, here, let me show you something real quick. Do it like this, and boom, they're able to do it. It's really that amazing. I've been able, like I said, I've been able to teach pizza, Domino's pizza people, you know, how to do it literally within three minutes. It, it's it's awesome. It's awesome, guys. But the evolution throw is a methodology right so in this method you're gonna get an A to Z beginner to master level course it's a completely standalone course you do not need any other form of throwing if you want to do off-axis throwing only and an off-axis throwing only the evolution throw will cover cover it all it will do it all and the benefits let me let me lay out some benefits to the evolution throw the benefits to the evolution throw are anybody can do it if you have handicaps of any kind you can do it if you have a right hand or a left hand you can do it so you know you might be a person that only has one arm you can do it you can throw right-handed or left-handed you'll be able to use the, the the evolution throw from any part of the table 
you can shoot from any part of the table, any position, and have success with the evolution throw. Um, you get 19 different ways of gripping the dice. Uh, the evolution throw works best on super trampoline style tables. Real, real bouncy tables. The evolution throw shines. It screams. It's just, it's glorious, guys. I can't, I can't explain how glorious, glorious it is to view the evolution throw on a bouncy table. Uh, another amazing benefit of the evolution throw is you can shoot it on 14 foot tables the longest boat submarine style tables the longest tables on the casino you can throw it the whole complete length of the table and it's actually better if you throw the full length of the table meaning straight out so if you're on a 14 or 16 foot table uh, I've, ne I've never seen a 16 foot table but you know but if you know 14 foot I've seen 14 foot tables if you th if you are on the very end of the table th and throw the evolution throw that is the absolute best place to be the full length of the table I mean it's totally counterproductive uh, account excuse me it's totally counterintuitive to the three finger overhand grip and toss where you need to have a certain type of bounce on the table you need to be seven and a half feet away preferably you know i mean excuse me between eight and seven and a half feet away you know stick left one or, or stick right two w or whatever you know w you know the 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 par throw is very 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 specific they prefer you to be in stick left one or stick left two you know, or stick or stick right one or stick right two, because they want you to be as close as to the back wall as possible. All that goes out the window with the evolution throw. You can be on any part of the table and be successful with the evolution throw. The evolution throw is literally a glorious, glorious, amazing methodology. And it's 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 one method, it's a standalone method. Alright, so here's another thing. So I hope I hope that makes I hope that makes sense. It's starting to make more sense to you. All right. So let let me expound on a, another thing about the evolution throw. There is a myth about the evolution throw that people think that that you use the evolution throw. In other words, you start with the par throw. You would start with the par throw. Then you would throw the dice just like, you know, just as described in the books and on the internet, you would throw the par throw. And then when the dice hit and they go, you know, and I'm, I'm doing air quotes here, they go off axis. In other words, you set for, you know, you set for a hard way set and then you end up with a two, you know a 2-4 that's considered an off-axis throw in and I'm putting that in air quotes people think that that's what the evolution throw is it is not it is not that at all all right it's not reading the dice after you throw it the after you throw the dice using the par throw that's not what the evolution throw is and that's what a lot of people think that it is and it's not no, you're you're setting the dice in a very very specific way, and it looks completely random. It looks completely. That's the other benefit about that's an that's another benefit about the evolution throw right? is that it's com it looks completely random. It looks like you're a chicken feeder, but you're not. It is literally ninja throwing. You are throwing the dice very specifically controlled it looks like you're a chicken feeder it looks like you're randomly throwing the dice but you're not you you you're stealth throwing that's actually what you're doing you're stealth throwing you're actually a ninja in the casino because when you throw the dice it looks like oh the casino would never pick up the idea 
the concept that you are throwing controlled after they see the throw because it literally looks like a nin it literally looks like you're a random roller but you're not all right dice go all over the place or bouncing all over the place but it's very 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 controlled okay uh, obviously without showing you I, you know, I can't do that um, I'm not gonna give my methods away like that for free it will not do it but just know that it, it's very very stealth like and it looks like you're completely a be it looks like you're a complete beginner and it makes you look like a chicken feeder and you're not you're doing a very stealth ninja like uh, controlled throw alright so getting back to what I was saying earlier people think that the evolution throw is throwing the dice using a three finger overhand grip and toss basically using the par toss and then when the dice hit the back wall and they separate and they come to rest and if it's not on a hard way set, it, 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 let's say you set for a hard way set and then your end result numbers are not hard way primary face hits then it's off axis no that's not what this is it's not about reading the dice after you throw them, you attempt to throw on axis, they fall off axis, come to rest, and then you read the dice and go, yeah, I just threw an off axis throw, but I still got a two, six, a two four six. No, that's not what you're doing. This is not what the evolution throw, and that is a huge misconception uh, uh, about the evolution throw. I've had a lot of people inquire about that as of late, and that's why I'm doing this video, because I'm trying to to uh, dispel the myths of, of the evolution throw. It is not, guys. It is not a, a three finger overhand grip and toss on axis attempted toss and then you read the dice and oh my dice are off axis now but I still got a, a, a good number. No, that's not what this is, all right? You, there's a, a year you're setting the dice in a completely different way but a very specific way it's very different from you're setting them very differently than you would the the three finger overhand grip and toss the par throw but yet you're getting you know certain results all right uh, but it's off axis it's it's an off axis methodology all right so I hope that is kind of like giving you some curiosities, some like, hey, what's going on with this? Maybe this is sound, this sounds something really good that I might want to look into. All right, so here's the deal, guys. Here's the deal. Right now, um, this is for the for you guys that have been holding on and uh, going through, uh, you know, holding on and listening through this whole whole thing. All right, so the cost of the course is 575, right? But I'm going to tell you what, guys. If you if you act within the next 3 days as soon as this video goes up, within set, after, you will have 72 hours to take advantage of the uh, evolution throw. And what I'll do is I'll knock off $75 and I will also include shipping alright uh, I will I will ship it out to you uh, uh, it will be it, it will be um, uh, I will knock off seventy five dollars plus the shipping okay so it's gonna be around four it'll probably be around four ninety something like that um, but I'm going to give you, like I said, I'm going to give you free shipping. So uh, you're going to get it. You're going to get a little bit more than $75 off. I'll say that. All right. So and like I said, it's only going to last for three days, 72 hours. This is not a sale, guys. This is not what this is. So if this video goes up and after three days, 
pass, don't expect to get a discount because you're not, okay? This is, you have to jump on this. This is not a sale. I'm not doing a sale. I'm just giving you an opportunity to get it at a, at a discount, but it's only going to last for three days. So this video is going up permanently. It will stay up permanently. Um, but if it's past, if it's three days past the published date on the video, forget it. You're not going to get the discount. You you will pay full price. You'll pay the five seventy five plus fifteen dollars shipping and handling. Okay, and then I'll ship it to you priority mail. Uh, but if you act now, I will knock off seventy five dollars and I will include the shipping. And when you reach out to me and you tell me, hey, I want to get this, I'll give you the grand total of what it's going to be, and it's going to be less than five hundred dollars. All right. So um, there you go, guys. So let's get back to the evolution throw. All right, so with the evolution throw, um, like I said, you're going to get all these amazing benefits with it. All right, um, you know the evolution throw, it, you know, off-axis throwing has been around for just as long as the three-finger overhand grip and toss. You know, the the par throw, it's been around just as long, uh, and it's gone through multiple iterations. Over the years, it's gone through iterations, and it's always been considered an underground uh, kind of thing. And people, you know, uh, it was it was kept very close to people's chest. Okay, uh, but you know, I've been around the dice control game for a long, long time. Lived in Vegas for you know 15 years. You know, and I learned this methodology and I looked at it and I completely reverse engineered it. I'm completely uh, 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 re engineered it literally from the ground up, took all that old stuff that was people were using for it and, and, and you know, we're calling it the you know calling it off axis throwing I took all that old stuff completely reverse engineered it completely made it better completely modernized it completely demystified it to the point where literally I could teach anybody in person how to do this throw in three minutes literally three minutes alright uh, yeah and there's a couple of people out there that are that teach you know off axis throwing and they they charge a thousand dollars for the course okay you're gonna get it for five seventy five and your and and my course has more information has literally like sixty five percent more information seventy five percent more information than what they teach okay um, yeah this this is the evolution the evolution throw is literally by far the best uh, off-axis course you're going to find anywhere. Nobody will ever be able to beat what I've done with the evolution throw. Nobody's going to be able to improve on it. Nobody's going to be able to make it better. Believe me, it's all here. This is truly beginner to master level course. It is all here. It is an encyclopedia of off-axis throwing. Okay, and and let me repeat, it's not about throwing a three-finger overhand grip and toss, and going, oh yeah, so my dice fell off-axis. So we're gonna call that off-axis throwing. No. That's not what this is. This is a very, very specific, very, very very unique way of throwing that is not seen by a lot of people. All right. Um, and when you get the course, you know, you're going to get a manual 60 over 60 pages. Uh, you're going to get five, five videos. It's like five, like over five hours worth of training. You're going to get 19 grips. Uh, you're going to get 20 off acts. Uh, off-axis architectural throws okay now it's it's one way of throwing but it's it, it it's one very specific way of throwing but you're going to be throwing it multiple different ways you'll have up to 20 different ways of do 20 different variations of doing it okay uh, it's very very unique uh, I mean it, this this course is unbelievable guys this is unbelievable all right uh, and when you put it all together you'll have over 344 evolution off-axis throws available to you you'll be able to throw it in 
all kinds of different ways from different parts of the table uh, any from any part of the table I mean it, it's unbelievable you I, I you know the the description just doesn't do justice literally it just doesn't do justice to what you actually get uh, if you were to it, it would take you no joke it would take you probably a whole year to master every little bit of information in the course there's so much information there you know yeah I can teach it to you in three minutes you'll learn one you'll learn the one basic methodology but literally there's 344 evolutions to it okay it's unbelievable there's so much you can do with this all right uh, you're gonna learn the theory of off-axis I cover that and I completely dem demystify it uh, the dice travel concepts of the of off-axis how the dice travel a certain way you're gonna learn all of that uh, you're gonna learn a specific betting strategy you're gonna get slow motion video um, yeah there it is so it's five hours and 39 minutes of detailed instruction all shot in high definition rev, re, uh, resolution uh, uh, in this course I cover everything I leave no stone unturned I give you all of the inner circle secrets I hold nothing back alright uh, all downloadable ready no I have to remove that <laughs> all downloadable and ready to be viewed and read okay as a matter of fact I'm glad I actually saw that because I need to change that I'll need to update my website on that uh, you won't see that by the time this video goes up you will not see that so now that we're talking now that I've come across that let me go ahead and explain how you're gonna get it uh, you'll reach out to me and uh, I'll tell you you know how to how how you're gonna pay for it the whole nine yards and then I will send it to you through snail mail it's not a downloadable course I don't do that anymore uh, I got uh, ripped off way too many times from from people and literally from my uh, downloading platform uh, they were holding money from me they were doing all kinds of shady ass stuff and I just completely got rid of it and said no that's not gonna happen I'm not doing that anymore so uh, you what what you're going to be receiving is you're going to be receiving a disk and you'll get that disk you'll put it into your computer you will copy all the files to your desktop or your laptop and then you can you know you can start learning the methodology okay um, I'm telling you guys this is this is unbelievable stuff here this is so so good um, so anyway the evolution throw is amazing guys um, and I hope I hope that this video uh, is kind of shedding some light as to what it is and what it isn't uh, so you know you can you can uh, get a better understanding of, of what it is obviously you're not gonna know how to you know you're not gonna know what it looks like until you purchase the course I get that uh, and I would never I would never put up a, a video and go hey look this is what it kinda looks like no I'm not gonna do that can't do that uh, but let me just tell you guys uh, I've had I have multiple students multiple students that could just they couldn't get the th the par throw down they just couldn't get it down they just had and they got frustrated and 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 then I, I turned them on to this and they just said you know what this is this is what I need this fits perfect for me and this is what they do full time they they use the evolution throw full time uh, they create their own methods or their own betting strategies around it uh, once you understand the concepts you can do that you can you can you can use all kinds of different betting strategies uh, around the evolution throw that's what's so amazing about the evolution throw if you were one of these guys that likes to go in and do three hits and down the evolution throws perfect for you you know you go to one table do two hits and down move to another table do one hit and down uh, go to another table do four hits and down if that's the type of player you are this is perfect for you okay um, you know the evolution throw really is about getting in and getting out quick okay um, I, I can't stress that enough that's that's un, that's that's literally the evolution throw uh, in a nutshell so it's about quick exposure to the to the table and getting out as fast as you can 
Uh, so, so once you learn the methodology and you learn how it works and what it's about, yeah, you can, you know, you can develop your own different, you know, you can o you own your own, you can add it to your own betting strategies or any betting strategy that you like. Okay, you can find one on the internet, on YouTube, say, I like this, and then you can tailor the evolution throw to that betting strategy specifically. Okay. Uh, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, you know, what side of the table you're on. Are, are you on the, you know, are you, you know, you're, you're a don't player or are you, are you, a, a, um, you know, a straight player? Okay. You can, you, you can do either side of the table. You can do do's or don't. It doesn't, it, it, you can, you can either be a do player or a don't player. It does not matter. Uh, there's all kinds of things that you can do with the evolution throw. Once you understand the concept and you're able to replicate the concept, the actual throw, man, you can tailor it to anything. You can tailor it to all kinds of, of, of different uh, strategies. You can tailor it to whatever specific uh, way that you like to bet. You can do that. It's amazing. Uh, but of course, we also in the manual, you, you actually get a, a course, uh, excuse me, a, an actual uh, betting strategy that was specifically made for it, but you can add it to any betting strategy, like any book on, on craps, you can add it to it, to that betting strategy. Um, all right, guys, I hope, I hope that and this was a long video and I'm, and, and I'm hope I'm, I hope that you stay uh, with it all the way through. So there you go, guys. Um, I hope that uh, uh, kind of shed more light on it uh, without me actually showing you the throw. Okay. Uh, obviously can't do that, but but I think you get the the gist that this is different. This is unique. This is standalone. You don't need to know anything about. Uh, dice control whatsoever you don't need to know how to do the three finger overhand grip and toss the par throw you don't need to know any of that stuff this is a single method that stands alone all by itself and you can use it in any casino and on any table you can't say that that with with a par throw you can't say that with a par throw but with this throw you can you can use you can be in any casino and use it and you can be on any table and use it anywhere anywhere in the world that is what makes this so amazing all right so there you go i'm done if you want to purchase the evolution throw reach out to me at koga ninja 777 at yahoo.com and if you're excited, take advantage of the 72 hour opportunity. Boom, there it is. I'm done. I'm out. Thank you guys for listening.